Hello, I'm Michael Myers. Yes, that Michael Myers. Halloween's Michael Myers. I have decided to pursue a different path in life now that my last movie's in the can. Halloween Ends, which comes out this October and will be spectacular. It's going to be huge. Um, starring me. And um, I don't have really have much lined up after it going on after so i'd say well you know i love to gamble starting casinos now i gamble in the stock market but i don't gamble on everything i just gamble specifically on amc and gme and by gambling i mean i just collect shares as many as i can currently have right around 300 and i'm looking to get as many more as possible uh, tomorrow may be the day for that because, first off, um, AMC was up like 3% today or something like that. I don't know. It was good. It was fine. It um, led to my overall portfolio being up to like 1.5% maybe. That, hell, green is green. And considering GME was down 5 bucks or whatever, um, you know, finishing green after the day, that was awesome because... It's, GME really had a wide range today. It, it broke up and hit like 154, I think, at a session high. But then it went right back down to 135. And, I mean, that's like a $19 swing. And then it finished like 138 or something like that. So, that shows me that it's like sticking his little pinnacle out to touch. See how much higher it can go. It's going to touch a little bit more. And it touched. 154 and got thoroughly rejected um the volume wasn't that great i would love to see gme on a day when it's got like 15 20 million volume that would be spectacular now nah, just regular volume G amc nothing special in volume um but what is special about amc is that one it was up and, and generally i think the markets were down i don't really pay a lot of attention to anything else besides amc and gme this is all I care about. Um, AMC, it touched up to, what was it? Just over, damn it. Sorry, brain spasm. AMC touched up over 14, then it got rejected. It sat back down and then ping pong for a while down there for the rest of the day. But to me, tomorrow is going to be anyone's guess because of the inflation the inflationator comes out tomorrow to tell us how bad inflation is like we need to know we're reminded how bad it is we're reminded on a daily basis gas is now an average of three dollars and 96 cents a gallon across these united states that's average and that's an all-time high we're definitely looking in the fours maybe five dollars by the end of summer I mean, the oil's gone up again. It's like 123 a barrel now. I was looking at that, and then I looked back, and then I looked at Exxon Mobil, and I just kicked my own butt, you know, a hundred million times for not buying Exxon last year because Exxon last year was like 40 bucks or something, 50 bucks. Now it's over 100, and it's just it's just like this whoop, and with the oil being so high, gas being so high, whoop. So, but I missed that energy boat. It's too late now for that. Don't jump on that now, please. Um, what is interesting about AMC, though, is the short interest is all time high. Over, it's like 23.6% now. Uh, the shares borrowed probably about $122 million. I mean, shorted and then borrowed. It's got about $185 million, $186 million. It just keeps climbing and climbing, but the beautiful thing is the cost to borrow. The average interest rates, um, brokers and whoever, charge people to lend out shares. To borrow, you want to borrow some shares? Well, it's going to cost you this much percent. Well, AMC's average cost to borrow now is, is like 16 to 20%, and I saw max cost to borrow was 32%. Oh, well, that's getting mighty, mighty pricey. Um, nobody, I don't care which hedge fund, the richest hedge fund out there, I don't know which one it is, um, nobody can hold those positions open 
and pay that kind of interest. It's like sh it's like loan shark interest. But that's what they've dug themselves into. So, hmm, how funny your grave. Get in. <laughs> Don't worry, Michael will gladly donate you a, pl a plot and a tombstone once this is all over with for you sorry, sorry hedge funds. Um, so with all the short interest, the cost of borrow going up, the Fed is meeting next week. They're going to raise interest rates another, at least another half percent. So that means the cost of borrow will go up even more. Um, AMC is actually poised to, to, rock, to be rock star status this weekend. With Maverick going on this third weekend, and it's probably going to bring in 50 million, I think so, at least 50, 55 million in, in its third weekend. And now we have Jurassic Park Dominion, or Jurassic World Dominion, whatever. I don't know. I'm old. I remember, I'm so old, I remember the original Jurassic Park. Um, it was so awesome. It was way ahead of its time. Sam Neill, Sam Neill, right? Yeah. And he's in the new one, too. Yeah, a little nostalgia there. Got to go, go with that. I don't know if Laura Dern, who was in the original, is in this one. She may be. She may make an appearance. Um, who knows? Who cares? But it's doing spectacular. It already opened up overseas in early previews. Made like $80 million yesterday. Um, so forecasts are for um, Jurassic World Dominion or whatever. Um, are about 125 million, which is mighty steadily. It's not the highest ever for Jurassic Park. I think one of them made like 180 million. But if it could somehow get to 130, 135 million, plus 50 million for Maverick, plus the rest of the box office, another 200 million dollar plus weekend, you just can't. And we're just, and it, AMC is just set for content following that. I mean, you got Jurassic World, and then you're going to have the the kids, top, the kids fair come out since it's summer, and I think Lightyear is the first one, uh, like Buzz Lightyear from Toy Story, mm, to infinity and beyond. How about make a shit to sh make a lot of money and more? Yeah, AMC's gonna rock it. I mean, just rock it this summer. So I'm comfortable with my position. Um, looking at some of this stuff. Yeah, the 10-year bond yields are up, which usually means that stocks will go down. And plus, the CPI data coming out tomorrow. Um, when the yields go up on the bonds, the stocks go down, usually. Um, so I wouldn't expect anything too happy tomorrow. I would fully expect this to be red, honestly. If the inflation data comes in at 8.2 or higher, uh, yeah, you're going to see probably a sell-off. Which is fine because I'll be a buyer. I'll wait. I, I hope they do drop AMC ten bucks. I'll buy not some more shares. I don't think they will. I think AMC has to get through fourteen. <clears throat> was it fourteen fifty? Whatever they touch today, and the next stop will be sixteen dollars and fifteen cents somewhere there. That would be the upside. Downside, who the hell knows? But I don't think we'll be falling below or than ten. That's proved to be a solid, solid support. So, there you go. Tomorrow's going to be fun, kids. Buckle up. Anyway, I don't think there's anything else to say. Nope, 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 nope. Jurassic World's going to be great. Nope, that's it. So, anyway, one more day of trading. Could be ugly tomorrow. But they'll know by the market open when they release that data, which is in the morning. So, anyway, in the meantime, this is Michael Myers wishing you all happy hunting.